he had Bhagwan, which normally a bhakta have to serve him. Here he himself come and serve the devotee. But that devotee must have that single pointed minded devotion. That is called laser like devotion. When you have that, then Bhagwan himself come to so that you can eternally be with him. He will do anything. Yesterday in the satsang we were talking about um, the two quality of that, you know. This single pointed minded devotion. What does that mean? For a devotee to have single pointed minded devotion. Mam ekam sharam. No one else. That clarity must be there. No one else. Nothing else. Not the world, not the family, not the husband, not children, not wife, not boyfriend, not girlfriend, nothing. Only him. Who have that? Hmm? You have single point of devotion to your worry, you know, to your problem, to your husband, to your wife. That is your single point of mind and devotion. But to Bhagwan, no, you don't have. Then yet you want to be with him. How would it be possible? <laughs> you know, nowadays you see so many kind of uh, spirituality, you know, you dance, you know, you turn your body upside down, you know, you go in a heat room, and yet uh, all these people want, they, w they all are doing yoga, not knowing what is really yoga. You know. Without devotion, it's not possible. Without having this longing, it's not possible. So, life is about that. That big jump, he can take you. Uh, that single point of mind and devotion must be there. And for a bhakta, it doesn't matter. That's what Lord Krishna said. You know, he gave his assurance. Whoever surrender to me, when they leave this plan, they will be with him. That he said it. But of course, you must have that devotion. No? You can't say yes, because I have, uh, yes, Krishna have said it in the Gita, I'll be with him. I don't need to do anything. You know, I don't need to perfectionate myself. I don't need to try my best to become better. No, he never said that. So, bhakta is different. A devotee is different. It doesn't matter how they die. You know, when... Uh, you get initiated as a devotee, for example. They give you the mantra, no? That is a lifesaver. By having been graced with the divine name, you have assured you, you have the security that he is with you and he will care for you. He will take care of you until you will be with him. He will not rest until that. He will do anything. Even if you have to repair your house, he will come in disguise to repair your house. Such was in the life of Namdev Maharaj. When his roof, uh, in a storm, the roof was, uh, I say, destroyed, you know, Thakurji sent the Sudarshan Chakra to protect them. And then, 
as he was protecting at the same time he w- he was building the house when Th- when namdev saw him he was shocked said thakur ji what are you doing vitala what are you doing that i'm constructing your house H- how merciful is he eh? what kind of devotion must one have for him to come leave heaven come and help and be normal such was in s- also in the life of eknath maharaj yeah eknath uh, one day he wanted to do a feeding for the people so he sent one of his servant by the name of madhava no udava sorry he sent one of his servant udava to take a loan so he have taken a loan give the hypothecary on the house 700 rupees only 10 euro so of course he gave the the the, the f- food and everything to the people but when the time to return they didn't have that money to return back and of course uh, the m- the person who lent them the money was asking give us the money give us the money so what to do they didn't have money so on the day when they uh, also wanted to to give food to everybody the lender came you say lender came and said to namdev uh, to ignat sorry I- if you can't remove uh, if you can't uh, return the money then you better don't eat at all and of course uh, ignat was a very righteous person his wife so they decide not to eat anything to fast so it went for days even the servant also showing that his master is fasting they will not eat anything so he also start to fast not eating so that night <coughs> bhagwan panduranga could not look what is happening so he took the form of udhava the servant went to the lender's house knock at the door the man was a bit angry you know late night midnight somebody is coming at your house who would like it no one na uh, and now i see if i will come to your place <laughs> <laughs> i will think <laughs> many times even <laughs> <laughs> so here bhagwan have come in that disguise then he from inside the lender was screaming can it not be uh, you can't wait for tomorrow morning why it have to be now then uh, he said listen my master since the day you left have not eaten anything and i have come to pay the money back how can i keep quiet like that you know th- th- the man came out took the money have a receipt the paper and uh, of course bhagwan in the form of udava took the paper and went away so next morning the f- the man the lender was feeling bad said look he, he didn't know that uh, eknat didn't eat anything so he was feeling bad said eknat is such a great person and in the village he's known as a saint itself so let me go and ask for forgiveness to him because i didn't meant to do it in that way so he went to eknat and asked bow down to eknat and said eknat please forgive me because of me you didn't eat anything you your wife then he not said listen doesn't matter about it it's fine but uh, i will not eat until i pay you the money then he was shocked he said uh, but you paid already that how said your servant 
Uddhava, he came last night, in the middle of the night he came, and he paid it. He paid the 700 rupees. He called Uddhava. Uddhava was looking shocked. He said, no, I never come to your house. <laughs> I was here. And also, where would I get that money? And strange. So, Eknat went and opened his uh, book. And as he opened the book, he saw the receipt inside. But the amount had been paid. Then he realized it was none other than Pandurenga himself who went in disguise to pay the bill of Eknath Maharaj. But you see, for the bhakta like this, because they are for them, the life is the Lord Himself. No? Bhagwan is the essence of the life. There's nothing else. Guru was singing earlier. I heard him talking a little bit about uh, Tukaram. No? Was it Tukaram? Was saying that you are my everything. But that didn't mean that they don't do their duty. They do their duty in life, but their attachment is not towards anything in the outer. Their attachment is only towards Guru and God. The desire is nothing about anything into this material world. The desire is only about Guru and God. The rest they will do only as a sense of duty, because they still some skaras, no? There's still some karma. So they do that as a sense of duty. Knowing that they are serving Bhagwan. The same, the gopi. No? The gopi was so single pointed minded, you know, in Krishna. But whatever they will do, they will serve the husband, the children, but they were not attached to them. The attachment was only to Krishna. But they will do their duty. But their mind is attached to God. So if you are doing your duty, your mind is attached to God, not to the external reality, then you will attain Him. Then like you said, you know, those who surrender to me, I look after, I take care of them. It's not just to call them oneself a devotee. One must become truly a devotee. You know, and one must have that single pointed. Otherwise, you just pretend. Pretenders are many. That's why Krishna said, out of million, only one will attain me. One will know me. No? Out of million, one will know me. And out of those who know me, only one will truly attain me. So within the million, the millions of the million, there's only one. <laughs> So you can do the calculation. 